Um, so I've already played the ones from the first slots. Okay, cool. So we're going to check out the second slots <laughs> after me just singing on stream for a little bit. Uh, this is an amazing ship pack from Mr. Porco called Drone Ships version 4.0. And we have the ABC DEF versions. Can I sing happy birthday? Is it somebody's birthday? I will if it's somebody's birthday. <laughs> wow, we have a bunch of ion drones. We have a bunch of ion drones. Uh, second generation drone ship cruiser. With some newly developed drones, this ship should be capable of disabling the enemy systems with little effort and have no problems locking and destroying them. All right, let's jump right in. We've got a defense scrambler and an eight person drone control room. What's up, I'm the Derpy, how you doing? It's definitely somebody's birthday, true. Let's check out Gibbs. Beautiful Gibbs. Ion dealer definitely looks like something vanilla could have. Wouldn't be able to tell if you didn't know. Your wife's birthday's on Thursday. All right, what's your wife's name? And I'll sing happy birthday. <laughs> I feel like I'm mixing a singing stream with an FTL stream right now. Um, what's your wife's name? And I'll sing happy birthday to her. Jessica. Okay. Well, let's see. Now, here's, here's, I'll give you all a little glimpse into my singing life. When I sing, I have this hard decision where I'm going to try to sing in what I think of as operatic voice or more poppy voice. Because when I do solo stuff at church, I'll probably use a more operatic voice. But when I'm singing Christmas carols and we're singing things like, you know, um, All I Want for Christmas is You, I don't want to sing in a fully operatic style, so... I'll probably do something in the middle. You know, Jessica, here you go. Or zombie shop, whatever your real name's wife. Here you go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jessica. Happy birthday to you and many more. There you go. Happy birthday to Jessica. And uh, that's... Probably all the singing I'll do today. <laughs> there you go. All right. A happy birthday on a FTL viewership day. <laughs> now do Freebird! Freebird! <laughs> okay. All right. I haven't even looked at what all these drones do. I need to look at these drones. I'm so distracted by... Hashtag blame chat. Uh, we have an artillery I didn't even look at here. I wonder if my artillery is my only actual whole damage weapon, because I'm not seeing... Okay, looks like these combat drones are whole damage. That sounded legato, but with phrase lines. Wouldn't the end of each phrase be kind of the same as the Mercado thing? Uh, dee, 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 um, Mercado and legato have some similarities, but what I would say, meme plays meme, is the Mercados, I'm kind of overemphasizing the lean on each note, whereas legato, I'm trying to keep it all even. Does that make sense? The lean is more emphasized. Oh wow, this is an ion bomb artillery. Wow, okay. So legato is more even, marcato is more pressed on each note. If that makes sense. Hidden augments of all ships have drone recovery arm. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna ask if this has drone recovery arm. Drone drones move faster, 10% extra scrap gains, okay. Happy birthday is actually a tough song, surprisingly. It's actually slightly large range and again i didn't the high note i did a very halfway in between being i try not to sing too operatic when i'm doing non-operatic stuff so uh we have a defense drone too compass capacitor defense drone three power of the drone control system so this is shoots everything down i should have had that online i'm gonna guess nine pressing nine doesn't work but pressing 8 works. Okay, good. As as I would expect. Can't buy weapons either, and augments for weapons and TP aren't viable. <laughs> have a nice mix. Thanks, memes. I appreciate that. I actually think I don't have a nice mix. You know, you're always your own worst quit critic. I feel like my best singing style is not operatic or pop, but somewhere in the middle, but I don't know what it actually is, so... Turn them all on. I guess we can do all that, right? This is going to be a ship I can turn my drones and just kind of AFK, which is pretty nice. In a group singing 
in a group sing along, someone starts way too high and the end note is long is a long way up from there. Yes. Somebody goes, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. And yeah, and it gets all funky. Um so that's yeah, that is probably what happens in in real life a lot of times. Um did I have a connection to my did I have connection to my support while sitting in my chair? Um, wow, this is three ships in a row with missiles. When I was doing the singing, I purposefully sat upright like this. Uh, singing posture is another thing that you want to learn and improve with a voice teacher. But you always want your chest, your sternum wants to be high. I had one voice teacher said, point your sternum at the ceiling, which you can't do. But you kind of feel that. Your shoulders are relaxed. Because what you want is as much openness in your... Basically in your stomach. It's not your stomach because you're not doing anything with your stomach, but it feels like your stomach because that's where your lungs are. Your lungs are kind of down. They kind of jut out from below your ribs. You want as much openness here. So your sternum is high and everything is loose below it so that you can have a relaxed, full expansion. Breathing should be expansion, not... You never want to breathe in. If you breathe in, you're breathing wrong. And that's what a lot of lay people do wrong. Is because when you're going around in life, you're trying to suck in and look skinny and try to puff out your chest and look strong. But when you sing, you actually kind of have to... I think of myself as you need to be fat. You need to think that you're fat. Because when you're opening up your breathing muscles, it's going to expand. Your stomach's going to go out and the side of your... Um, uh, what is this? Your flanks. I don't know what to call this. Your, your love handles will expand outward if you're breathing correctly. You're on the string. What's up? Zero MPHZ. How are you doing? Uh, come with Star Spangled Banner that it gets too high. Yeah, it's true. I'm just going to turn all, all my drones all the time. Don't breathe in. Dies. Oh, when I say don't breathe in, I mean your stomach should not... Your stomach should expand. It should not contract when you inhale. I should clarify. Inhalation should be an expansion. It should never be a compression. What about operas where they have to sing while scrunched in a chair or lying halfway on the floor and stuff? You'll notice the good singers will do things where even if they're lying down, they're never hunched over. They're always kind of staying in alignment. Even when they even when they like kneel or sit, their torso will always be pretty much in alignment if they're doing it correctly. Uh, so, yes, you do want to breathe in. Uh, <laughs> absolutely, you should breathe in when you breathe. But you should not ever, uh, for breathing, sing for singing breathing, your stomach should never go in. It should always expand out. I mean, if you think about it, what happens when you breathe in? You're inhaling air. If you inhale, it wouldn't make sense for things to compress, right? They should expand when they fill with air. There's an ASB, so... If you think about it logically, if your lungs are filling with air, they should expand. Uh, Temporal is available. Reactor cap is 35 with adjusted cost. Stores are different. Level 2 clone bay will give the blue option slug sectors when they hack the metal, medical system. Okay. I'm gonna have a hard time venting these dudes. The venting on this ship is, uh... Not the best. Hey, thanks for the 34 months in a row, Nietzsche. Appreciate that. All right. Just watch the last no-pod streak. Tense as always. It's still going. I uh, can do clone bay. Turing is gone, and he's back. Okay. And he's back. It looks like we're going to be venting some people today. Happy venting day, everyone. Oh, nice. We got the uh, Zoltan to... One of the exultants to explode in another room, though. That's kind of nice. Welcome to the Talking About Singing with Rand stream. Well, people ask questions to test if I remember all the stuff I learned in college from singing lessons, voice lessons. Um, I'm the Derpy said... Yeah, Star Spangled Banner starts too high, and then they sing exclusive 
Me and Valsetto were the vocal fry, yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. We have five jumps. Five, four, three. Okay, one, two, three, four. All right, we'll check here. Because I would like a store. I think I would. We're going to keep Defense Scrambler. We already have Drone Recovery Arm. Long Range Scanners would always be good, of course. Test of all that expensive education was worth it, stream. Spoiler, yours wasn't. <laughs> oh, I was about to ask, and then you spoiled it, though. It's funny. Can you hear my opinion on Star Sector? You think I underestimate this game? Have I ever played Star Sector? I feel like it's a game people have recommended to me. I'm gonna actually take that deal because I have good fuel and getting to 15 missiles can be a, a good thing. Um, I just looked at, are, you like really want me to play this game or something? Oh, you sent me a key for it. Okay. Uh, you think I underestimate the game. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll have to look at it again. I'll be honest, I'm pretty sure I remember Star Citizen, and it just does not look like any type of gameplay I've played on any other game before. I just don't think it's one that I want to play. If you send it to me, I'll be honest, I appreciate it when people send me games. I'm not going to guarantee play it. Let's look at it right now, so I can see, I can tell you my honest opinion on Star... What is it? Sector? So we're just talking about other random stuff today. What? Star Sector. It's not even coming up. Oh, you sent it to me a year ago. What is Star Sector? Let me look here. Star. Star Bound? If I have the game, I don't see it. I don't see one called Star Sector in my library. Oh, it's a direct buy thing. No Steam. Okay. Ugh. Well, that's probably another reason I haven't done it. I forgot that I had it. If it's early access, that's why I haven't played it. The game has to be insanely good for me to check it out in early access. Or have some very specific thing I want to check out. Hey, what's up, Psychopath Cookie? Anything you need to know? Yes, we're talking about singing today. The lead, doesn't, the lead dev doesn't want to put it on Steam until it's done. I don't... I don't... Unless the dev reaches out to me, I'm probably not going to check out a game that's in early access that's not on Steam. No offense to a game that you love. I just... I don't... I don't want to play an unfinished game... Um, on Steam, unless I have a dev, like, reaching out to me. And yeah, I'm looking at the video. It looks cool, I just don't know if it's the combat style that I would want to play. So that's why I haven't checked it out yet. Man, I don't... If you sent me a... a do, I, do I own this? How do I even know if I own this? I probably will have to go back and check Twitch messages really for that. I actually have a game that a dev did reach out to me that they want me to check out. It's a deck builder game called... <clears throat> actually, I don't even know if I'm allowed to say the name yet, because it's going to go on Steam once they officially release it on August 31st, I think. But it's a deck builder game that I am going to check out on stream. Probably September 2nd. It's like the Friday. The first Friday in September. Looks like could be interesting. 
This is a drone ship. We're playing a ship pack where all the ships are crazy OP drone ships. Mr. Porku is an expert on making better versions of vanilla ships that are so much better that you can kind of let them play themselves. Uh, we got engine crew for this. Very nice. I mean, I just, I, I'm in sector two and I'm banking 141 scrap. I mean, <laughs> what do I even upgrade? I guess my artillery. Sure, we'll make our up artillery be stronger. Uh, do I ever still struggle with hearing recordings of myself? Used to sing in college, but never could stand it. Yeah, some, I got over it decently, but there's still times I'll hear myself and go, yeah, I, I could have done that so much better. I mean, you're always going to... I think Luciano Pavarotti would hear recordings and probably say, yeah, I, I could have done that better. You're, you're, you're always your own worst critic. But I don't super cringe when I hear myself sing. Not super cringe. Maybe only a little bit. I'll be honest, for my Christmas caroling group, we, listen, we have recordings we listen to to practice since we have to memorize 80 songs. And I'm the tenor on the recording, so I hear myself constantly, so... I constantly hear myself singing and constantly think, well, I could have done that better. Oh, I was out of tune for that note. The game is my theme. It has huge deep. The game is developing 10 years and already playable. If you don't like correct, direct control of the ship, you can command and watch. You watched me a pretty long time. wonder why I still don't give it a chance. All right. Send me another private message on Twitch. MPHZ to remind me to check it out because I, I never even downloaded it Send me another private message because I just I just haven't even checked it um, I'll check it out to see if I want it to be a thing. I actually stream But you're gonna have to remind me because I don't remember this stuff when I'm not streaming as soon as I'm done streaming my my brain is off of streaming so uh, just send me another whisper to remind me to check it out. Started watching my YouTube content. I helped you get your first one on easy. Nice. Congrats, Silver Savage. That's awesome. First one on FTL. I feel like that's a huge gaming achievement. Drone control is also cheaper to upgrade. There are flak drones. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to look for stores. Well, I'm going to not do that deal. For more offensive drones. A tenor. I call myself a tenor. I'm more of an in-between. Ho! I sing tenor for stuff, but I'm more, I'm, it's interesting, the term tenor, even between popular music and uh, classical music is kind of two different things. Yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and buy that. Wow. Another augmented combat drone. One ion, one system, one hole. Is that for one power? Does this not show? Yeah, one, uh, two power. Okay. Does that not even cost power? Oh my gosh. Gives three power to drone control. This is busted. Um, all right, I don't have backup. I just buy that. Uh, can't really afford anything else. It's interesting in pop music. Uh, they call tenor like Mitch, what's his face, the really, really high singing male singer in Pentatonics, Mitch Degasi or something, I forget his name exactly. They call him a tenor, and to me, he is a counter tenor because he sings in the alto range or the mezzo soprano range in classical singing, so it's crazy. You saw a shortcut on my screen. Oh, did you? Maybe I did download it. I maybe downloaded it, but never tried it. I don't know. But send me a message to remind me. Like I said, I'm never going to remember unless you send me a message to remind me. Uh, I'm more of a tenor two, for sure. More of a tenor two. Do you have any tips on singing exercises you can do on the bus without people looking at you weird? Um, let's see. Six. Five. Four. So I need to be here in four. Four, three, two, one. Yeah, the things you can do for singing exercises that don't make a lot of sounds are all... I'm just going to keep talking about it. It's all support. 
The uh, you can do that staccato exercise without making any noise. I was going. He, 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 he. You can do that without making noise. You can go. He, he, he. It's like a dog panting. Dog panting is a an actual pretty good exercise for practicing. What you're practicing is the expansion of your lungs, so that you're practicing. I, I should stand up. This is these are things when you're in a voice lessons you actually stand up. This right here. You see how that opens when I inhale? That's what you want to go. <laughs> and get better and faster at it so it becomes automatic. That's that's one of the few things I could say you could practice quietly on the bus is uh, is breathing exercises. Uh, have I ever reached out to GDQ or something? You're sure they would love an exhibition? No fuss, we don't have a game like FTL. Might be a good way to get more followers. Uh, I haven't, but I actually know that AGDQ has done FTL because I watched it and thought the people playing it weren't very good. <laughs> uh, but that is a thing. Um, I haven't... I've never gone to PAX or gone to GDQ or done any of those things, so... Uh, that would actually probably cost a lot of money to take a... Okay, which... I don't know... This is one of these annoying rooms where I think the manning station's on the bottom, so... I have to do this opposite what I think I need to do. But, uh, not a bad idea. We're gonna need to go into GDQ. There's probably better than people... better people than me to do that, but it could be fun potential other thing to do. Maybe get a group of, like, Farb and... I don't know, Crow or... I don't know who who is in the U.S. because I assume that's in the U.S. I know that Hollow is way over in Germany. Is Hollow in Germany or somewhere? I forget. Mitch Degrassi, that's the name. Yes. Is this normal gameplay or is there some AE shenanigans? This is modded. We always play ships created by viewers. This is viewership day on Monday, so um, Mr. Porkoon Chat created this ship. We always play crazy OP modded ships on Mondays. Well, not always crazy OP, but Mr. Porku ships are almost always crazy OP. Oh, wait. This flat drone is a defense drone. Oh, whoops. Okay, well, we go double defense drones, I guess. Huh. But yes, this is extremely modded. Extremely modded. Isn't the hissing sound of a dog panting straining for the voice, though? Well, I'm not talking about a hissing thing. Um, the only sound that should happen when you're doing this vocal exercise is either e e e e very short sounds or breath coming in and out. I actually, I would have my students do this. Very soft sounds that they're making just to practice the vocal cords coming together then releasing, breath coming in, and coming together quickly to get practice. <laughs> Doing that action of inhalation and exhalation quickly and getting the vocal cords together. GDQ has a bunch of shows in the evening, all sorts of categories. You can do it from home. Oh, really? Well, that's cool. No, I haven't reached out from them. Uh, reached out to them. That might be something to look into. <sighs> Are we in a freaking mantis sector? Because, my god, man. My god, give me a break from these mantis borders. Give me a break. Do not want, do not like. Okay, as soon as this goes out, we close that. There we go. Close all these doors. Um, uh, You didn't know... You've seen it in GDQ Hotfix. You didn't know it's been in a main event. Yeah, I saw, I saw FTL on an AGDQ years ago. I forget what they did. I think they just did a random... I think they just did a Kestrel A run or something. Nothing crazy. Because I don't know if it was a speedrun attempt or what. Any clue what note you start to swap into falsetto? I'll be honest, I'm the Derpy. Uh, for most of my singing, I try to avoid falsetto. Because you don't usually use falsetto when singing classical operatic solo singing. However, 
when I do choral singing, depending on how high or loud the piece is, soft or loud, uh, it's probably around E natural F that I would probably go into falsetto. I can stretch it and take my full voice a little bit higher if I want to, but around what I think it's what a lot of I don't know. One thing about the singing world is different teachers have different terminology. There are people who call breaks in your voice passaggio. Um, in my voice lessons, we called it low voice, middle voice, and high voice. So my swap from middle voice to high voice is where I would choose to go into falsetto if it was soft enough. I think some people call that the second passaggio. I don't know the exact actual terminology that would work for your brain. But around E natural F is where my first or second, my second break is. Uh, Zoltan Homeworld, Zoltan Homeworlds. You know what? Boarding is my biggest fear, so let's just go nebulae even though I don't have long range scanners. Weirdly, most fans aren't like you who would only submit super power on super, submit subpar, I can't, super underpowered ships. Yes. Well, often when I get super underpowered ships that I lose with, I play them for five minutes, say, I can't win with this and don't play it anymore. So that would be why I don't get a lot of those, probably. You want some weird on the bus rocking back and forth going the e e e e thing? <laughs> what? I don't know what you could do on the bus that you wouldn't sound funky doing. That was the closest thing I could think of. Uh, let's see what we got here. What am I looking for? Long range scanners. Heavy combat drone. That sounds good. And I have, well, there's two heavy combat drones. Um, overclocked combat Mark II. I didn't even realize I had this. Did I just get this for free? Um, <clears throat> Bobby McFerrin has a fantastic falsetto. He really does. I've tried to do some of the stuff he does. Do, 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 The control he has is really amazing. I try to do that. I can't get a, I can't get, like, close to be half as precise as he is. I love, I love Bobby McFerrin, McFerrin stuff. He's, it's funny, because he, he does a lot of classical stuff, but I wouldn't call him a classical singer. But he's just kind of an all-around singer who knows how to control, swapping between those things so smoothly and quickly. Um, Ion Combat Mark II, or, yeah, okay, let's sell a Mark I and buy a Mark II. This is a lot of power. Uh, but we'll try, see how many drones we can get online here. Uh, no shields, no cloak, no shield overcharger, or defense drone, that kind of thing, yeah. Sounds fun, lol. Okay, so I need one more drone power. <laughs> what did that just do? Okay. Well, this, this defense flak too is pretty insane. Any point of doing the Mercado thing super soft on the bus? <laughs> uh, sure, you could do that softly, yeah. You don't have to be loud. I just prefer to be loud on that because I'm trying to warm up my the connection of my vocal cords. But yeah, you could do that softly. Okay, there we go. Now we can get one more of those guys. One more of those guys there. You didn't give that drone the full name. Which one? The Combat 2? I mean the Ion 2? Uh, do I care about... I mean, sure, I'll buy one fuel for two scrap. Sure, what a deal. Best deal. Hacking is a perfectly cromulent defensive system. I do not know what that word means. I've heard it many times. I don't know what it means. It sounds like it has something to do with food. But I'm pretty sure it doesn't mean food. Pretty sure it has nothing to do with food. Cromulent sounds like... Cromulent sounds like... Man, those cookies were delicious and cromulent. But I'm pretty sure that's not what it means. <clears throat> It's a perfectly cromulent word. That doesn't help me, but okay. Good to know. Okay, here we go. Have some drones. <laughs> this is 
It's nice that we have something to talk about, like singing, that I have some, you know, interest and knowledge in talking about, because uh, I don't really have to do anything on this ship. Let's turn my drones on and watch the fireworks. Those cookies were delicious and cromulent. Does that, does that work? Does that make sense? <laughs> uh, I don't care about that deal. As you get older, have you found that your falsetto can't get as high? Honestly, not really. Um, my voice teacher in college used to say, um, well, it was actually the, uh, I have Columbia here. Wow, that's an anti-hole. Okay, it just looks different. Uh, used to say that around the age of 35 for men, 30 for women, uh, there's a slight, there's a, a process in the body called ossification, which is your cartilage slowly turns harder the older you get. And, um, more bone-like. And he talked about that ossification, I think, either stops or gets to a fully matured point at those ages. 30 for women, 35 for men. That's what he talks, talked about as being like the most mature. Your voice is finished maturing at those ages. Since I've turned 35, which was many years ago, um, or some amount of years ago, I have six years ago? I don't know. I've lost track. Um, I haven't noticed a large change to my range, honestly. Uh, maybe some of the high has gotten easier. I don't know. I feel like if you're well-trained, you're not going to notice a huge change. So I, I honestly can't tell you exactly how it's changed, but it hasn't felt... I've never felt a major shift in my voice, and I think that's because... It's going to sound conceited, but I feel like I had really good training. I feel like with good training, I haven't had to deal with horrible, huge range shifts or anything like that. Uh, it's an old Simpsons joke. Oh, cromulent is a Simpsons thing? Okay. Random made up word that in context means to say adequate or serviceable or good. Okay. I think... I think I'm gonna take damage here, actually. You can see the inside clone vat. Well, if I had sensors that worked, I could. <laughs> but, okay, cool. Uh, okay, there he goes, good. I didn't, he didn't do damage to us, very nice. Classic Simpsons. I never watched enough Simpsons, I guess. I wasn't allowed when I was a kid, which is strange, because I feel like the show's not that bad, but. But yeah, I don't, I haven't noticed a noticeable, I haven't noticed noticeable, I haven't felt or noticed a major shift in my range as I've gotten older. My voice feels about the same as it was at the end of college. All right, one, two, three, four, five. We should be able to do that, I think. Um, this we take damage when we do this, but I think we're guaranteed to get. Oh, we get a quest. Okay. Okay, four damage for 11 scrap, probably worth. I have a wonderfully cromulent voice. Wow, it's the best. That's the most amazing and cromulent um, compliment I've ever gotten. What a cromulent compliment. Could not ask for a more cromulent comp compliment. Cromulent compliment. That is really hard to say that. Say that three times fast. Cromulent compliment. compliment. <laughs> I've already failed. I have already failed. Cromulent compliment. Cromulent compliment. Uh, not a good enough deal. No, don't eye on my drones! Then I can't recovery them! Okay, good, I didn't die. There's so many drones, I can't tell what drone is doing what. I'll be honest. <laughs> I don't know which drone is doing what. Hey, that gives me a silly device. Alright, very nice. Run is blessed. Sadly, our previous run was not blessed by a silly device because we didn't have enough crew slots for a silly device with four person boarding. Okay. Even if it's we uh, exit is a dive, it'd be a nebula dive. That wouldn't be so bad. 
Diction, Ryan. Diction, I know. Um, in Hartford, Hereford, and Ham Hartford, Hereford, Hampshire, hurricanes hardly ever happen. Or whatever the the silly uh, the thing is. Uh, one of the uh, warm ups one of my choral directors likes to do is lips, teeth, tip of the tongue, lips, teeth, tip of the tongue, lips, teeth, teeth, teeth tip of the tongue. <laughs> I can't. Uh, and uh, my mommy made me mash my M and M's. That was another goofy uh, diction exercise they do. My mommy made me mash my M and M's. Lips, teeth, tip of the tongue. I'm trying to think of uh, for uh, there's so many good uh, Gilbert and Sullivan Sullivan ones like um, uh, from the Mikado. I actually sang this before. I heard that one of the, our directors would use this as a diction warm-up is uh, to sit in solemn silence in a dull dark dock in a pestilential prison with a lifelong lock uh, uh, something pestil uh, short sharp shock of a cheap and chippy chopper with a short sharp shock I, f I forget exactly the words but it's from the, the Mikado there's a there's a trio patter song using that oh we do dive damn to sit in solemn silence with a dull dark dock. What language is my least favorite to sing in? Um, English? No. <laughs> uh, honestly, for me, the language is not as important as if I like the music or not. In college, it was German. I didn't love German. Although I thought German was easier than French. Um, I've only sung in Korean like twice, so that's probably one of the hardest. That was only recently they that I sing in Korean for the for the first time, so that one's challenging. But I don't really have a language I hate singing in. Uh, Russian is probably the hardest, actually. I did rush. I did one Russian aria called Lenski's aria from Eugene Onegin, and uh, that was the hardest one ever because Russian is Russian's difficult. There's a lot of yet and a lot of yeah, a lot of sounds we don't make in English. You always hated singing in Latin. Yeah, I don't love Latin because there's no Latin diction class, so I never, at least I never had one in school. So I never knew if I was doing it right. So. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, most FTL races seem to have uh, SRL. I don't know what that means. Have a winner around the hour mark. The record beat the game. Advanced edition. Runs at speedruns.com or 12, 13 minutes. Variants might not seem very marathon friendly. Yeah, you're probably right about that. Uh, you did a song in Yiddish. That made you miss Latin. <laughs> yeah, my mommy made me mash my M&Ms. Too few people seem to be running hard for that to have a single category on the site. Mommy made me mash my M&Ms. You did in theater a lot. Yeah. Lips, teeth, tip of the tongue. Alexander, ha Alexander Hamilton, what's my name, man? Al I've never seen that show. I've heard so many good things about it, but I've never actually seen it. I have a lot of scrap. It doesn't really matter what I do, because we're just killing everybody while AFKing this run. So close to hearing Rand's modern Major General. Uh, I've never done that one, but I know it. Uh, I am the very model of a modern Major General. Love information, vegetable, animal, and mineral. I know the Kings of Anian and I quote the fights historical from England to da 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 something. Or a categorical. I don't know. <laughs> uh, the patter songs that I had to learn were... Um, what was the one in Mikado? Uh, what was the other one in Mikado I had to do? The, the Gilbert and Sullivan shows I've done are... Princess Ida. The Mikado. I've never done P Pirates of Pinsons, actually. HMS Pinafore. The Gondoliers. Is there one more? I did Ruddy Gore once. So. Uh, but I've listened to them all a lot. But I haven't practiced all of them recently. Have I sung any Hungarian opera? Can you give me an example? Because. Is, is that a language? Hungarian? Because I've never sung in that language. So I would guess probably not. Um. You have always wanted to sing like Paul McCartney on the B part of Oh Darling. Oh Darling. What, how does that? I don't know if I know what the B part sounds like without hearing it. Is that the right song? I only kind of know 
Beatles because I never never really listened to it until I was older because my my mom actually was of the opinion where when she grew up she wasn't allowed to listen to Beatles so I wasn't allowed to listen to the Beatles they listened to the monkeys because the Beatles were too risque back in their time I guess so they listened to the monkeys instead okay free breach missile are you gonna die okay almost Russian is not so hard as Japanese tell you as a Russian. Okay. Take your word for it. They both sound pretty difficult to me. Honestly, from the one thing I did in Russian, I feel like Japanese would be harder than Russian. But I don't know. I've only sang in one of them. There is no right for Latin. Many people think there is, but Latin is a dead language. I suppose there is still church Latin. Yeah, and that's probably what a lot of people think of as right Latin. Which is why when I say I don't know if I'm doing it right, that's kind of what I mean. There's like, there's like Spanish Latin and German Latin and probably French Latin and English Latin. I, yeah, I don't, it, since it's not spoken conversationally anymore, I don't know that there is a, a correct one. You only speak two languages, English and bad English. You did Gondoliers and HMS HM Pinafore. I love those shows. Gondoliers is actually one of my favorites. Wow, Six Fuel. I love the Gondoliers. Such a fun show. That's the right song. The B part is when you told me you didn't need me anymore, and now you know I nearly broke down and died. Okay. <laughs> Ion Combat Drone Blue Option. Nice. There we go. Blue Option from your mod. I love it. Love it, Mr. Porku. The monkeys were just hanging out with the Beatles smoking dope per their documentary when they met them. Really? <laughs> That's funny. Uh... I guess maybe their songs were less had less sexual references? I don't know. I don't know. Long range scanners, yes. We want to sell all these. Um, I am full up on drones, sir. Let's buy all the fuel. Long range scanners. Look at a mantis to deal with borders. So you can go beyond sensors. You should be off for today, Pi Boy. All right, thanks for hanging out, sir. We'll see you later, my friend. All I know is if you're pronouncing C like S in Latin, you're a modern degenerate. Okay. Uh, is there anything else I want to do here? I can buy systems. We get another Ion Combat Drone Mark II. How, how high can we get drone control? Up to level 10? I should probably just... Sell Ion Combat 1 and upgrade it to Ion Combat 2. Every, If we can get a better version of any drone, we should probably always do that. Oh, Flak Combat. Okay, let's sell this whole beam. F that. Give me a... Give me a Flak Combat drone. So... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 1, 2, 3... 4, 5. I need one more drone power. For the f black plus heavy. And can I get... Let's get mind control to deal with borders. Alright, back to not paying attention as we talk and let my drones do all the work. More drones, I know. More drones. Okay. I uh, usually find that some people naturally remember lyrics easier or a pitch melody easier. Which do I fall into either car category, and if so, which? Um, I don't know. I have a hard time disconnecting those. Um, I remember words when they're put to a song better, but I get melodies stuck in my head a lot. So I don't know if I have one that's more than the other. I've been working on an arrangement for a song called um, uh, Tie the Yellow Ribbon uh, Tie a Yellow Ribbon Around the Old Oak Tree It was like back during the Korean War or something It was a popular song for people coming back from military service because we're doing a Veterans Day gig and so I'm writing an acapella four part arrange five part arrangement for it and I've been having that melody and, and lyrics stuck in my head for last month, because I've been working on it every Saturday. You sang that song once? Yeah. 
I'm coming home, I've done my time. Now I've got to know what is and isn't mine. It's just been stuck in my head. It's, good, it's a good song. Uh, it's actually pretty... It's actually got a pretty interesting melodic and harmonic structure for a pop song. Um, but it's just been stuck in my head. And the words and the music just... That, that can't really separate them, I guess. I guess we'll go abandon here. Uh, Ferenc Erkel is probably the most prominent composer of Hungarian language operas, but Bartok wrote the one you're very fond of, Bluebeard's Castle. Now, I don't think I've ever even heard any of those, Cthulhu. Uh, Bartok music, I don't know much about. So I don't know if I would enjoy it or not. I've definitely never sung it, though. Hungarian, one of that Tolkien languages, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, we got the mind control counter. And I have five bajillion drones, so I think maybe we can give these Lanius bombers in this sector a try. Okay. Every time you think of the monkeys, you're reminded that Noel Gallagher said of Damon Albarn from Blur that Oasis was the Beatles and the Stones, while Blur was the monkeys. Disrespectful, I say. You like the monkeys. They were just monkeying around, too busy singing to put anybody down. <laughs> Well, I probably can't be impartial because I listened to so much of the monkeys as a kid because my parents, well, my mom specifically, uh, loved them so much. But I, I think the monkeys are great. Uh, then I saw her face. Now I'm a believer. Not a trace. Doubt in my mind. Now I'm in love. Ooh. I think they had some great songs. Uh, they were often called, I think, a fake group, right? Because they were created for a TV show or something. But they had really good songs. I liked, I liked the monkeys. Product of my childhood, I guess. Since you know, like I said, my mom loved loved them so much. Uh, what software do I use? Uh, I use Sibelius. I learned. F um, Finale in college, but then a friend told me that Sibelius is what a lot of people in like the California music industry use. And I tried it, I was like, yeah, this seems a lot more beginner user friendly. So I use Sibelius for my instrumentation software or uh, composing, arranging software. Allstate 2018 in New Mexico. Nice. All right, we got some singers here. That's awesome. All right, another flat combat. So I guess we get rid of, I guess two ions is good enough. Let's get rid of the augmented guy. I think I should stop buying drones though. I think I should be done with my drones. So uh, let's like save up for our other systems. Damon Albarn went on to create the gorillas, so we guess he wins in the end. Was Damon Albarn one of the monkeys? Which one was he? I don't know the monkeys' names except for Davy Jones, because it's, you know, the name of the, the locker. Davy Jones locker thing. Uh, there was a guy named Mickey, right? Oh, Mickey, you're so fine. Uh, Mickey and Davy. Your father was also huge into the monkeys. Yeah. Take the last train to Clarksville and I'll meet you at the station. I'll see you at 4.30. Oh, in your reservation, don't be slow. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. So, they have a lot of good songs. I really like the monkeys. Finale bleh. Okay. Did I audition individually or in quartets? Oh, you're talking to... Uh, Whoever it was that got Allstate. <laughs> I actually never got Allstate because I didn't do choir until college myself, so. Um, the lead singer of Blur. Oh, Damon Albarn is from Blur. Oh, okay, I thought you said he was in Monkeys. What your notation software of choice says about you. Sibelius, you have to use notation software for a living. MuseScore, you don't. <laughs> I actually do use MuseScore occasionally because it's free and you can download some stuff for it. Uh... David Jones, Mickey Dolans, Peter Tork, and Mike Nesmith. Oh, those names sound familiar. That sounds right. 
Automated reloader would only work for artillery. Artillery is a far second for behind our drone control of being useful. So let's go ahead and get hacking, since I'm never running out of drone parts. If you use Dorico, you're insufferable at parties. You are in this camp. I've never even heard of that notation software. Wow. Dori Dor Dorico? How do you even pronounce that? That sounds Spanish or Italian. Dorico. Do you say I use Dorico. Mamma mia. Italians don't say that, but I don't think they say mamma mia. But I, Americans making fun of Italians say mamma mia. Finale, you are a fictional character, okay? <laughs> Muse score used to be unusable, but it's become really great in the recent years. Yeah, the real question to me is what um, recording software do you use? Because I used um, Pro Tools for a while, but the like cheap, maybe even free version, and felt like I couldn't do hardly any of what I wanted to do. So now I use um, Reaper, I think it's called. Is Reaper the video or the audio? Uh, I use... What do I use? Uh, Reaper is, yeah. And the Resolve is the video thing I use, so. That's one of the things I've been trying to learn how to do better is, I learned how to, I learned how to do some of, uh, like a simplified version of what the pop professionals do with auto-tune, and it blew my mind. Because I was able to fix notes of my acapella singers without having to re-record stuff. It's so convenient and nice. People talk crap about auto-tune, but that, that tool in audio editing software is so amazingly awesome and powerful and useful. You saying put on a happy face as your recital song when you were taking lessons, real amateur stuff. Is that is that a monkey song? I don't remember that one. Or is that a, what were we talking about? Blur song, I don't know. Dorico was made by all the Sibelius devs that Avid sacked. Ah, oh, I could see that. I could see that. Italian slander isn't an American thing. We all do it. Okay. <laughs> well. I mean, we got a lot of scrap. Let's get more scrap. If you're just going to give me one. You agree with the Dorico thing? Did you know Dorico is so good? Blarg. <laughs> Blark. Is that you throwing up in your mouth when somebody talks about it? Okay. Oh man, I wish they would have gone. You know, I'm gonna let them kill that. So they can go into this room and then I can fight them like 4v2. Although I will hack your weapons if I can. Did he already fire that before I could? No. Nope. Okay, good. There we go. Delay that a little bit. We're gonna go like this and open all the doors. Take power to this. Oh, they left. Thanks for leaving. Uh, you can go there though. Uh, auto tune is so nice. People talk crap because people misuse auto tune. Yeah, they they talk crap because all they know about is what is done with rap and um, what's his face, who's known for auto tune. Uh, Who's the rapper who was... I forget the rapper. But what's funny is, like, I heard recordings of him when he doesn't use Autotune. He's a really good singer anyway, so... No, not Usher. Uh, although, there's a lot of rappers that use it. The one that, is inf that was infamous for it. I think he was the guy who was in the... I'm on a boat, mother... Don't you ever forget. I think it's that guy. Uh, who was in that song on... On, uh... Saturday Night Live. T-Pain? I think it was T-Pain. Yeah, T-Pain. Put on a happy face is Dick Van Dyke from Singing in the Rain. Oh, okay. I definitely don't know that. I've never seen Singing in the Rain. Which is, again, probably kind of sacrilegious. I don't know. I haven't seen a lot of that old school stuff, though. Ah, freaking Lanius Bombers. This is the third Lanius Bomber this sector, by the way. Frickin' third one. Let's go ahead and hack his weapons. Yeah, I'm gonna hack his weapons. Oh, there goes my doors. Good defense drones, though, so that's good. These defense drones are doing work. 
We're stupid OP, so the ship has to fight, throw all of the most OP ships in the game at us. Um, Ableton 11 is so good now, has playlists. Let's see, you were trying to figure out how to make a de decent joke for Lily Pond. Even calling that music notation software feels like a stretch. Autotune isn't a bad tool, but it's, it isn't magic that can make anyone sound good in any situation. Very true. What it is really good for, at least what I've used it for, uh, the, I was talking about, I do recordings for my Christmas caroling group for our uh, uh, practice tracks, is you have a soprano who is just very slightly sharp or flat all the time. You can fix it and just let her sing her very slightly out of tune stuff all the time. And it's just, it makes it so, it sounds so much better. Oh. Not that I'm speaking from a first-hand experience. Nobody tell the soprano in my group that I said that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, speaking of Italian, this mod is made in Italy. Nice! <laughs> Bring us back on track to this video game we're playing. Um, Kenny G, yeah, he uses auto-tune. <laughs> that rapper Kenny G. He's a Twitch streamer now. T-Pain is a Twitch streamer now? Wow. Okay, uh, let me get third shield, I guess. Spend some scrap here. You know the better a good answer today than a perfect tomorrow thing? Dorico's devs prefer delivering a perfect solution after the heat of death of the universe is a to a good one today. Okay. So it sounds like they are like Blizzard used to be where they would never release anything until it had been quintuple checked or something. Has my singing endeavors been set back by laryngitis or any other similar vocal issues? My biggest vocal issue that I've experienced is vocal fatigue from talking too much while streaming. Tomorrow my voice is probably going to be exhausted from talking and singing on stream on day, all day. That's been my most consistent issue, but... Uh, I did not mean to take that, actually. Um, I shouldn't... And making stupid mistakes in FTL because I'm talking while I should be streaming. Um, well, at least we get a little bit of scrap for that. Um, the it's vocal, vocal fatigue is the thing I've had the biggest issue with. Just vocal fatigue. I've... Uh, I've been sick a couple times where... Have I ever lost my voice? I, I don't know. I haven't lost my voice very often, but I've I've had I've ha I've had struggled I've struggled with vocal fatigue during Christmas season when I am singing you know four to six hour gigs multiple days in a row. Well, like laryngitis, not really. Um, some I feel like I have very low level allergies living in Dallas. That sometimes causes sinus issues, but I feel like if you're trained well, you can avoid those things if you just use your voice correctly. So I haven't, I haven't experienced too much of that. Thank good. Knock on wood. Um, whatever I can do to anti. No, I'm gonna buy this. Uh, does this give power? Wow, this gives power as well. Anti uh, jinx myself. Uh, I'm gonna stop buying drones. Let's get cloaking. Our build's done. I just need to go AFK the rest of the fights in this run. He has a dope stream. His podcast is really funny. Uh, are you talking about uh, T-Pain? Okay, that's cool. You have to go. You're really thankful for all the singing advice. You're going to be staccatoing all day tomorrow. Nice. Don't forget the memes. All right, meme plays memes. Oh, I've already lost two offensive drones. Thanks, game. Uh, thanks for talking about voice. I've, I've enjoyed it. Ask me voice questions anytime. So I can actually use my... my college degree for... a bit on stream. T-Pain shaved his head and plays FTL. Goes by the pseudonym Rand118. <laughs> no, if I wanted to be a rapper, the only thing I could do would be... Was it Lil Wayne? Who what? Yay! Who what? That's that's what I would do. I couldn't actually rap, but I could make those sounds. Those are the only sounds that appear in rap that I could make. 
Drone control is super to upgrade. I still have other flak drones to power. Oh, that's true. I do need to upgrade those. But I wanted to get the cloaking done. Damn it! Stop killing my defense drones with asteroids. That is like the opposite of what you're supposed to do, defense drones. Let's cloak it. Uh, Dorico was released 2016. Chord symbols were only recently added. Okay. I don't even use chord symbols in Sibelius. You lost 90% of your voice once when you had a solo for Church Choir Cantata and 100% from Laryngitis once three weeks into production. Took a couple weeks both times to recover. Well, uh, that's really unlucky. Um, I have heard of people who have vocal problems brought on by stress. Is your like a, a stress or nerves brought on thing or is this actual physical sickness? That's not Lil Wayne, it's Lil John. Okay, see, I, I know so little about rap, I didn't even know which rapper I was making fun of. I just know that he's the one that Dave Chappelle made fun of. Let's cloak that. And I did that once at my Walmart job, and some of the people there thought it was hilarious, so. All you whippersnappers with your newfangled musical no music no 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 notation. That's right. Shouting your own name over track seems possible. Uh, po popular, yes, yes it does. Happy Asteroid Day, that's right. His sickness both times, that sucks, I'm the derpy. I've, I've, I guess I've just been very lucky in my singing life that... I don't know if I've ever missed a gig for actual Sickness or lost voice. I've had to do gigs with not optimal voice many times. But I'm also one of those people who kind of refuses to acknowledge when he's sick. It's, that's actually a really good deal, uh, a reward, even though I don't have room for that. I'm pretty sure that's more scrap than I'll get. So I'm going to take it and just drop that there. So, like, you know, I will probably be like, I probably shouldn't sing but I'll just fake my way through the gig because I don't want to lose out on the money I would make in the gig. At the double-edged sword, I, uh, means I, I'm looked at as being very consistent and reliable, but, uh, probably have some gigs where I didn't make the best sounds ever. But at least I was there. Man, this is crazy. How much drone power are we using here? 3, 6, 9, 12, 14. 16 drone power plus 2 drones that are giving us power. 16 with... Mm, is that 9 in our... I don't even know. I can't even count. The numbers shouldn't go this high in FDL. There's a flak 2 drone as well. Oh, <laughs> look for it. I hope we find it. Alright, shield... Uh, let's have you go up here and you hang out down here, I guess. You didn't miss, but the cantata was definitely suboptimal. Oh, well then, that's good. Sounds like you're like me then, where you will sing through the sickness. Come on, get up, get down with the sickness. Who's that, corn? Who is that? Get up, get down with the sickness. I forget who does that. You're no engineer, but that's a lot of drones. It is a lot of drones. You're an engineer, and that's still a lot of drones. <laughs> I, I, I am an engineer, engineer, engineer. That is a lot of drones. Uh, I can get that. Uh, that's an asteroid. One, two, three, and then Nebula died. Let's do it. That's disturbed. Thank you. Richard Cheese does a great version too. Ah, uh, yes. I think Cthulhu. Are you here? You're the one who told me about Richard Cheese, weren't you? I remember learning about that for the first time on the stream. Is that- is Richard Cheese the guy who does the like... Oh, there's some weird... Are they mashups of songs? They're mashup songs, right? Where it combines two different songs of very different genre. You're the mod maker of the ship pack and that's the point. 
Yes, Richard Cheese does the best version. You'd pay good money to every, to every time Rank is a Gigi Cookie time that he ends it with Little John impression of Yay! <laughs> okay. Well, help me remember and I will at least do it once. Oh, they're lounge singing. Yeah, lounge versions. You think you requested one of his songs on my old song request streams? That sounds right. That does sound. It's not like something Cthulhu would do and something that we did way back before. DMCA ruined the music for everybody on Twitch. Wow, there's a lot of stuff coming my way. Sure, I'm glad I got cloaking. All right, so backup battery will come back up. After the discussion earlier that me and Pi will yell at each other about. Uh, he does metal songs with inappropriate lyrics as lounge jazz. Lounge jazz. If I do this and this and let you guys in, I'll kill you. Go over here. I do vaguely remember hearing those on stream. A flak defense drone, what did you come here to? Uh, happy drone day. It's happy drone day. They used his version of Down with the Sickness over the end credits of Dawn of the Dead. Really? Wasn't Dawn of the Dead a... Serious movie? <laughs> That's interesting. I've never seen it, so maybe it had some tongue-in-cheek stuff. I don't know. I would believe that with Shaun of the Dead. Dawn of the Dead, that sounds weird. Um... Okay. That is more humans on my ship. Darn you, more humans. Definitely try to sing through. The other time when you had 100% voice loss was so eerie, one of your last ventures with group gigs. It's so weird to go through the motions and absolutely nothing would come out. Do not recommend. Good tip. <laughs> try not to 100% lose your voice. It's a good tip. I will attempt to follow that advice. Well, I will not do another Abandoned. Dawn of the Dead is a serious movie. Lol. Serious zombies. Well, I mean, like, when I say serious zombie movie, I mean, like, you know, Resident Evil or, like, the original way back in the day, Night of the Living Dead, you know? There are serious zombie movies, right? Or dramas, horror, whatever you'd call them. You hate humans, they're the worst. <laughs> Yeah, there's a link for this ship pack for anyone who's interested in just steamrolling everybody with OP drones. Pretty fun. I like it. Can, can recommend. Don't recommend losing voice. Do recommend steamrolling enemy FTL ships with OP drones. Don't confuse Dawn of the Dead with Night of the Living Dead, as you weirdly heard a bunch of people do. Well, I know Night of the Living Dead is the old black and white one, and that movie freaked me out when I saw it as a kid. I don't even think I saw the whole thing. I just saw, like, when, like, the little girl was becoming a zombie near the end, and, like, these really slow zombies coming and eating people, and the stupid protagonist not running away fast enough, and I was like, this is terrifying to my 10-year-old brain that's seeing this. They didn't kill zombies, so don't stop me now. It's still more serious than Shaun of the Dead. See? Five moons. Five. See, I totally had a valid uh, argument for serious. I guess, I guess you're my pilot, bro. Um, we're probably never getting piloting training because we're killing these ships so fast. Not a horror fan, but Invasion of the Body Snatchers was legit terrifying. That's the one where if you go to sleep... Oh, I don't have... I should have auto too. Um, they'll take over and... The main hero and stuff had to figure out what was happening. I think I remember watching that one too. There's some legit scary old movies like that. With Donald Sutherland. I don't know names. <laughs> Names are not my forte. I don't even know present day actors. I'm definitely not going to know actors from, what was that, the 50s? 
Uh, is there any reason to go to the store? I guess to look for Flak 2 drones, eh? Uh, I could buy crew. Oil combat 2. Augmented combat 2. Nah, I think all I care about... I like the heavy. I think all I care about is... Two versions of... Flax combat for, um, yeah, that's basically all I care about. So I don't think I care about anything else here. I'm not even using my free repairs either. It was, uh, 1979. Wow, okay, I thought it was... <laughs> I don't know names, I also don't know time, so... <laughs> wow, I thought it was much older than that. I thought that was black and white, but I guess maybe it wasn't. Video drone wasn't entirely pleasant to watch as a youngling either. I have no idea what that is. Uh, at least there's drone, drones to choose from, even if there are none of the ones we're looking for. So your stores are nice that way. Refuse! I refuse, you slugman. You know that feeling, too, getting older? You don't know time, you don't know names, you don't know where you are or what's going on. Well, I'm not going to blame it on age because I've always had a hard time with names. And time, like earlier I said, this is the second time I've had jury duty in the last six years. That's a complete guess because I don't even know how long I've been single since I broke up with my ex and have been learning, leaning, leave, living here at, the, uh, at this apartment. I think it's been five years. And I think it was two years before that that I had. Uh, jury duty, which would be seven years, but I'm not sure. Like, I, I can't keep track of the years. If somebody says, oh man, remember when we went to Six Flags? Oh yeah, that was fun. Yeah, that was like four years ago. I have no idea. That could have been ten years ago, and I would believe you. I just, I cannot... My brain does not track time. These are not the drones I'm looking for. It's true, they are not. That is just one of my problems is having an actual feel and granular understanding yes I used that phrase that doesn't make any sense of uh, how time flows by and ha what's happened in said time flowing by you originally wanted to add a variant to the heavy combat that also dealt ion damage it was too much yeah that's pretty OP pretty OP there's a movie from her 50s, from the 50s. The 1978 movie was a remake. They actually made another remake in 93. It was garbage. Videodrome is a Cronenberg classic. Cool. As usual, Cthulhu Fathagon keeps saying things and references that I just don't get. But I'll just nod and say, ah, great. Totally understand and appreciate whatever you're talking about totally totally go to wikipedia and i'll love this in 2018 they made a musical loosely based on body snatchers called the guy who didn't like musicals okay i love it uh honestly sounds kind of ridiculous so <laughs> reanimator from 1985 is a great horror movie or was I think there's a place in Dallas that I went to one time where they have just classic old horror movies playing on TVs all around the place, like a bar. I don't really go to bars, but again, my ex did. So we went there once. I was like, this is weird. I'm seeing all these really freaky horror movies that if I was watching them would freak me out. People are just drinking and ignoring them. You know, there's like weird you know, topless women getting chased by a guy with an axe and over here people sawing their arms off. And I'm like, I'm kind of uncomfortable right now, but this is apparently what this bar is. What's up, Trey John, Valdor? Valdor, how are you doing? Got a space station? It's more of just a complete drone... A drone overload ship. We have all of the drones. We have all of them. 
David Cronenberg is known for body horror films. Scanners in the Fly, probably among the more well-known. Ah, oh, okay. Hey, free flak drone. I'll take that. I have seen parts of the fly, so okay. You love guy who didn't like musicals? You love that show, I guess? Um, do I want to replace any of these? I guess I can lose my heavy combat drone for it. Two power for three shots, so I guess it's just, it actually is just slightly better. So two ions. Oh, wait, no, this is three ion twos and three flak ones. That's pretty cool. Synergy. Gotta love synergy. Synergy. You watched The Fly just a few months ago? I don't know. I am not into body horror. I'm not into, like, any horror that much, but... If there's one type of horror I don't want to watch, it's things where weird, horrible things are happening to people's bodies. You've been refurbishing your dad's kitchen today. Huh. That sounds like a lot of work, honestly. <laughs> you had the same issue with placing events on a timeline, even vaguely correctly. You found that the only way to do it was to keep a diary, where even without recording everything, you'd have milestone events, and it worked. Then you stopped caring about it, as people were already used to your foggy timelines, you dropped it for being too much of a hassle. Well, if I really need to know a time frame on something, I have Google Calendar, and that's what I use. If I really need to know something for, like, you know... I need to fill out a uh, an audition form and say the dates things happened. Uh, I, I I go to my Google Calendar and I just go back because everything is in my Google Calendar. But there's very few times when you just need to know exact dates and times of when things happened. So sounds like you and me brain wise are on the same wavelength. Wow, another Flak Two combat drone. Okay. Uh, not Flak 2, but Flak Combat Drone. Um... Alright. Uh, this was actually not... I thought I have an, I thought I had three Ions. I had two Ions and one Overclocked Combat. So, we'll go with four Flaks. How does that compare to this guy? He's one power per shot, but he's just really fast, I guess. I guessed? I guess. You're into body horror and riding. You don't really need to watch it, though. Okay. All right. Uh, how are we doing on time? <laughs> We're doing fine on time. Let's get two more jumps, I guess. Uh, I don't care about your hacking. We counter this. We go like this. The drone flackening is coming. I don't think we've ever had a drone flackening. Four of eight. Which... Um, Kenny used to say all the time as a meme, but we actually are at four of eight drones. We could actually have all eight. <laughs> we just need that Sector 8 store with four more flak drones. The drones get hacked, am I in trouble? Yes, but not too bad, as long as it's like not level 3, because we have plenty of drone parts, and we have drone recovery arm. So it should be fine. But it is basically our only good offense. Uh, maybe I put some investment in the artillery just for the lulls, because I got nothing else to spend my scrap on that I care about. Um, this isn't really a flagship power surge. It's the flagship power surge, but always on, I guess. So, I guess it's kind of like that. What's the artillery do? I think it's like an ion, a bunch of ion bombs, like three ion bombs or something like that. Yeah, same difference, yeah. <laughs> artillery. Three bombs, four ion damage. Oh, it does system and bio damage, too. Okay. So, it's ion bomb plus small bomb, kind of. All right, good dive. Good dive. Okay. Uh, well, wow. I could dive a bunch. You know, if there's any ship that I really don't mind if I have to dive a bunch, it would be this ship. So let's check. Let's check. Uh, 
Um, there's another overclocked combat too. Just not sure if that's better. Three power for a 28 speed compared to two power for 13 speed, but has three shots. I think I'm gonna sell this. Any augments I can get that are useful? Ah! Best augment sector eight. And septile navigation, quite good. Okay. Now we can go back to this door if it lives after going eight jumps to get to the base. That layout is an animal. Oh, ha! This looks like a constellation, like a, I don't know, a, a horse or a giraffe or something. I got a free scrap recovery arm earlier in the run. It was just one of the... Um, did I get that for free or did I get it as a surrender deal? It's either surrender or they just somebody just... It was just a bonus reward. I can't even remember. I've been kind of only watching this run with a half of eye because I don't have to micro or do anything <laughs> for this ship. It's an aardvark, there you go. It's an anteater. Aardvark, anteater, horse, uh, giraffe, orangutan. Not really an orangutan. It's that famous, well-known constellation called the giraffe. Completely humiliates the ship and dive. Yeah, good dive, good dive. <laughs> it's a good fight. It was really close. I was, I was really worried for a second there you were gonna you're gonna do some damage, I, I know. You were about to get through. I was really worried about it, too. It's obviously a naked mole rat sector. Obviously. I should have seen it. Don't know how I missed it. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. One downside of how OP we are, I'm not getting dodge or shield training because our drone defense shoots down everything. Our drone, drone offense kills them so fast that, uh, you know, first world FEL problems. We kill them so fast I can't train my defenses. Jackal! It's a jackal! Is it a jackal? How about a jackal? I think it might be a jackal. No, it's not a jackal, Tom! That's a... That's a... That's a good old... That's a Family Guy reference? I think that's Family Guy. Isn't that an old... Jackal to jackal to the Family Guy reference? I think it's a Family Guy reference. I think it's an old Family Guy. Is it an old Family Guy? I think it might be an old Family Guy reference. Man, I haven't watched... I haven't watched Family Guy in so many years, but... Still remember some of the memes from way back when. Why well, I, I use none of my uh, stuff that I have to recharge. That's a deep Family Guy cut, which are the only ones I know since I haven't watched it in the years since that came out. I guess. I'll go ahead and hack your. Uh, I don't know. Well, I guess I'll hack your shields. Sure. Cloak your missiles, you'll probably be dead before if I need to cloak a second time. Especially with your cloaking down. I like the purple drone uh, cloak image. Very similar to the half cloak image of RPG Nerdo's half cloak ship. That was 15 years ago. Man, has Family Guy been around that long? That's crazy. Blue whale for the QI reference. I don't know what that is. Uh, what is QI? Playing about having no training is like Superman lamenting not having an adequate sparring partner for strength training. It's true. It's true. It's a good, uh, good comparison. <laughs> Pride not talks big. What is QI? I don't know what that is. Damn, I don't get any extra jumps. Set times. I could dive for a bunch of extra. I could go back to the store. Is there any reason to go to the store now? Eh. Meh. Meh. Not really. Oh, it's a British game show. Okay. That's why I don't know what it is. Hmm. 
my gosh, this flak defense drone is stupid. <laughs> oh, I'm not even hacking anything. Oh my gosh. What happened to his missiles? Why didn't they fire? Or did they? And I didn't notice because the flak defense drone is just ridiculous. Uh, unless it's a themed ship, all the new second generation ships will have that purple cloak color. Gotcha. 27 scrap gets me literally nothing. Okay. I wish I could get level 3 sensors. Sadly, I can get literally nothing, and that's the only thing I can get. Literally nothing. Alright, I do have to deal with borders, though. Alright, a little bit of micro I have to do for this run. A small, tiny bit. I'm gonna hack your missile. Not that it's actually scary with this ridiculous OP defense drone we have. Oh, you're dead? I think you're about to die. Alright, GG, you didn't have to cloak. <laughs> GG cookie time! Yeah! There you go, Shogi. Did we win? Yeah! I can't hear you. What? The Ion Dealer. From uh, Mr. Porku's. What is that ship called? The Drone Ships Volume 4, or Version 4, and that was the uh, D, let's say, Drone D ship. The Drone D we played. Did you fire missiles? I didn't notice them over the torrent of space trash. I loved your way, yes. <laughs> Call back to the diction training discussion. Have I read the poem, The Chaos by Gerard Noist Trinité? No. No, I... I don't read poetry. I don't speak Spanish. Just kidding, there's a... there's a... What is that? That... what is that? Uh... That's from news that... Ron Burgundy Anchorman says that. Uh, no, I, I don't read poetry. So, alright, well that was an easy one. Just a little OP. Just a little OP. 1972 is a good year, actually. I don't know. I wasn't born yet. I'm gonna do some minor fixes to the ship. Okay. Send me the update when you finish it. So, well, I guess it's only if there's changes to the other one, but... Alright. It's almost time to bring Slow Rider. Rider lurking. I'm gonna stand up, stretch, use the restroom, take my final break of the day. We come back, we will do an SMPK insurrection run to finish the stream. Thank you all for watching. It's been a lot of fun talking, singing, and other random stuff. My voice is probably going to be uh, really rough tomorrow, but it's fun. So when we come back, we'll do one more ship. Y'all rock. Be back in a bit, my friends.